Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kirioth and this is a little vlog slash update video. First things first, this is going to be the only video you'll see on the channel this week. Uh, and that is purely because we had a, a minor incident um, yesterday. My daughter had an unexpected stay in hospital last night and I kind of want to take the rest of the week just to look after her and make sure she's okay and just, you know, spend some time with her. That makes it sound like something dreadful's happened. No, it's not that bad, but you know what I mean. Hopefully you understand I kind of want to spend as much time with her as she recovers as possible. Um, so for the rest of the week, you're not going to see any videos. You won't see any streams. And to be honest, I probably won't be very active on Twitter or anything like that just because I want to focus all my attention on her for the next couple of days. Um, family comes first, always. I mean, she's only 19 weeks old. You've, I, I've, you know, I want to spend this time with her and make sure that everything's okay. Um, don't worry, it's not anything bad. She's not, you know, it's, she's fine. She's all right, but I'd just like to spend that time with her. That is pretty much just what I want to say about what's happening with the channel this week. It's going to be light on content, but hopefully you can understand why. The other part of this is the three videos I put up on the channel over the last couple of weeks. It's not as many videos as I wanted to do. I wanted to do more, but unfortunately, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, <laughs> and I've never tried to make this kind of content before, it's taken way longer to make those videos than I thought it would. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it, though. I've really enjoyed making those videos. They're a bit different. I've never really done anything like it before, but it's been very satisfying to make them and bring them out. There have been other videos I've made as well, which just haven't gone up on the channel because I wasn't happy with them. Um, I feel like the ones I did put up were of a certain standard, which... They're going to be better, you know, future videos will be better, um, but the ones that I didn't put up just didn't do it. Like, my rule was basically, if I watched it back and it didn't make me laugh when I watched it back, I didn't want to put it up on the channel. And I had a couple of videos where I put the work in, they didn't work out. So, I really want to know what you think of them, to be honest. The feedback has been great. I mean, the views on them have been really good for the size of the channel. My subscriber count has gone up steadily, like, more than it did before. Like, more than it would of a channel of this size. If I was just producing, say, Let's Play content or something like that. And, I mean, yeah, the reception seems to be really good. But I want to know more in detail what you think. Is there anything about them that you would improve? Is there anything that you didn't like? I already have criticisms on a couple of them. So, the Overwatch Law video, I thoroughly enjoyed making that. That was really good fun. And I think it's one of the... I think it's the best one out of the three. Um, but... I will happily say that the voice work was flat. When I was actually, because that was scripted, I had to do that scripted because I kept losing my train of thought. Um, but when I read stuff off a script, I don't get as animated as I as I would normally. Like the uh, the Torbjorn strategy video, I'm a lot more anima animated, I'm a lot more energetic, you know, I'm kind of, you can hear more enthusiasm in my voice as I'm doing it. And that's because I was able to just do it live and make it up on the spot. I couldn't do that with a lore video. And so it felt a bit flat and a bit lifeless. I think the writing was okay. And I think the visual jokes and stuff were okay. But it needed to be more energetic. But that's something I can work on. Um, the High Wall of Lothric tour video. I enjoyed doing that, but it was too long. So I'd cut that down in future. Um, and in fact, that whole guided tour thing. I'm thinking, instead of doing it for like levels and stuff. I'd quite like to apply it to just games. So, say if I looked at a game for the first time, or even did like a a guided tour of a game I've already played, that whole thing of not really knowing what you're doing, <laughs> like just making it up as you go along, um, and getting it wrong, which is the whole point, I feel like that could actually be better applied to entire, like, entire titles as opposed to just like one part of the title. Um, so instead of it being like a lore video, like the Overwatch one, and the Doom one, which now will have to be pushed to the next week, um, where it's like actually taking characters from those games and giving a, a completely wrong history of them, um, and a completely wrong analysis of them, instead it would be like, kind of similar, but for a game. So, doing like a, you could do like a, you could do it for anything, you could do it for literally anything, you could do a guided tour just a guided tour of Star Citizen and just get all of the lore wrong. You could do it for StarCraft, you could do it for anything you liked. So I'm thinking I might change that up a bit and there will be a test video for a tweet format of that on the channel next week. Um, the strategy video I just enjoyed making because it was a stupid strategy and I can't believe it worked. And now that Overwatch is out, you'll probably see more of those. Um, but they will also appear in different games as well. It won't just be Overwatch because you can apply it to any sort of game that you like. You could do it for Civ, for instance. Civ 5 have been playing that with some friends recently. You could easily do it for that. You could do it for GTA as well, because, again, that's something else that I've been playing with some friends. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy with the videos. 
if you have any sort of constructive criticism and again constructive is the uh is the the, the key term here uh you video shit mate that's not constructive don't need that but tips on where you think the videos could improve perfectly happy with that stick them in the comments below i will read them because i want them to be better and i'm enjoying making them i have identified one issue with making these types of videos though which is that i can only really manage a couple a week because they take quite a bit of editing and they take quite a bit of nailing down so i want to make something that's not strictly speaking let's play content i'm not really too fussed about doing a let's play in anything at the moment um but of an evening i tend to have you know games of stuff with friends and i've been recording that stuff now this would be a completely different thing to what i would call sort of the flagship content the the over edited law videos like the the edited strategy videos the edited guided tour videos these would be i guess a lot a lot less structured because i would just take the bits that i've that made me laugh the most from when we're playing games and stitch them together and in fact i've, I've been talking to my friends about this and we've already come up with a name for it so you've got like 100 percent not accurate overwatch law so they'll next week they'll be 100 percent not accurate doom law um you've got the legit strats that is another title that will be used across all that type of video. Uh, the Guided Tour, or Terrible Guided Tour, that is a title that will be used across all those types of videos. And in between, so that I have like four or five videos a week, I'd ideally I'd like five, but four might be more realistic. Um, in between those, there would literally be on, a chat, on the channel a series called Filler Content. Like it would be called that. You would know when you came, it's like, this is not like that. This is a lot more laid back, it's a lot more relaxed. And it would just be like the best bits of whatever gaming sessions we've had during the week. So we played Civ the other day and we we played it for like three hours. I could get a couple of like episodes of filler content out of that. It would almost be Let's Plays because there would be some continuity, especially when we're playing like a specific game for any length of time. Um, but it wouldn't just be the whole thing. I want it to be smaller and more focused than that. Currently thinking probably about 15, 20 minutes long, something like that. Um, to literally fill the gap because if I've got the footage if I'm playing the game anyway if I'm recording it anyway I may as well make something out of it not every video on the channel is going to be that kind of highly edited stuff simply because there isn't time but I have got time to just sit through a couple of hours of you know sift through a couple of hours of playing Civ that's easy enough to do especially if I note down funny bits that have happened as we're playing which is what I've done for the last, uh, last game of Civ we had so I'll be trialling that next week as well um that's about it really to be honest i'm thinking thinking about it um thinking about starting a patreon page now if you're the type of person who's like if you want money then go and get a proper job fine you can have that opinion whatever you like you can i'm not going to stop you from watching my content if you don't want to support it i'd quite like to be able to just not have ads because no one likes ads I'd love to be able to start a Patreon page and instead say, if you like it, chuck us a dollar a month or something. Maybe maybe two dollars, given the exchange rate. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, I'd quite like to go down the uh, the route that Jim Sterling has gone down with Jim Acquisition, whereby Jim Acquisition has no ads. The route that Soviet Womble has gone down with his videos, where there's no ads. It's just, if you like it, you can help him out. If you don't want to help him out, you still get to watch it ad-free. Because let's face it, I know everyone uses ad blocker. But no one likes ads. An ad blocker don't work on most mobile devices anyway, at least not reliably from what I've heard. Um, like the default YouTube app doesn't allow for anything like that. Chromecast, you get ads all the time. If I could go down that route, that'd be great. However, I'm not sure whether to do it or not. Part of this is motivated purely by the fact that multiple people, be it via YouTube comments, via comments whilst I've been streaming, via Twitter, or even via email, um, have asked when I'm going to start a Patreon. Realistically, a Patreon would be great because YouTube earns approximately nothing when, you're, uh, when your channel is the size that mine is. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't want to feel like... I don't want to... I don't want it to seem as though I'm trying to press you into giving me money. It would undoubtedly be helpful and it would mean I could work on it way more because I could actually justify it because right now I can't because I own nothing from uh, the YouTube channel or the stream um, apart from the old donation. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I probably will 
but I, I need to work out a way to do it where I'm happy doing it. Um, because it's a bit different to like say Hotfix for instance, I mean Hotfix we introduced that because it was a well established thing. Like at the moment I'm three videos into a new regime and I'm having to take a week because of looking after my daughter. So in a way, I don't feel comfortable doing it. In another way, it's not going to be like that forever. Like This is a one-off thing and next week the content is going to come back and there's going to be more of it. So I don't know, we'll just have to see how it goes. So I think that's pretty much it. New videos next week. I'm gonna have the, uh, the 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 Doom Law video, which is pretty funny. I just haven't had a chance to finish it, but I'm really happy the way it's turned out. Um, there'll be more sort of strat videos, but again, that they won't solely be focused on Overwatch. If you come here, and you're like, oh god, another Overwatch channel. There will be Overwatch content on the channel because I really like the game, but it's not going to be nothing but Overwatch. You're gonna have the Law videos. You can have the guided tour videos, probably to do with new games or older games that I feel like playing. You know, just stuff that I think would be funny. Um, you will have... I'm hoping to do a bit more Dark Souls 3 content. I've got a couple of ideas in my head that I want to do. Um, and you'll have the legit strat videos, which will be about anything and everything. Whatever game I'm playing, if I can find something funny to do with that game in terms of the way to play it, that will be made into a video. And there'll be the introduction of filler content which is the actual name of the show, just because I, I just, I really like that name. You know what you're getting, you, you know what you're getting, you know full what you're getting. It, it's filler content, it's not heavily edited down, it's just, that is what you're getting. Um, and that'll be about it, and I'll continue streaming after this week. And hopefully, eventually, Twitch will give me a sub button, hopefully, maybe, if I'm lucky. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm not going to go on too long, I just, good grief, it's already been nearly 12 minutes. I just ramble. I get very caught up in it. I just ramble. So there you go. That's that's pretty much everything. As I say, no videos this week. Normal service will resume next week. At some point next week as well, I'm going to cut together a proper trailer for the channel that new people will see when they come here so they know what's going on, so they know what the content is. And uh, yeah, apart from that, thank you for watching the new videos. I hope you enjoyed. If you have, then let me know what you think down below. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, again, let me know down below. And hopefully we'll just keep getting bigger and better because the growth on the channel is already pretty damn good. The two Overwatch videos are doing pretty damn well. And things just seem to be going going well. I'm, I'm happy. It's good. It's great. Thank you for watching. And I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.